Prince Harry could be dragged into the Cash for Honours investigation currently being launched into Prince Charles Charity, an expert has claimed. Scotland Yard has launched an investigation into the Prince's Foundation following reports that offers of financial help were made to the Foundation in return for honours of citizenship for a Saudi national. The donor, Mahfouz Mare Mubarak bin Mahfouz was awarded a CBE in November 2016 at a private ceremony at Buckingham Palace. Earlier this week, the Metropolitan Police announced that it would be launching an investigation. A royal source told The Telegraph Prince Charles is willing to speak to detectives to help with the probe. The Prince of Wales has denied any knowledge of the alleged deal. Harry, who was pictured shaking hands with Mr. Mahfouz in 2013, could be questioned as part of the investigation, a former Metropolitan Police Detective Sergeant has claimed. Former Detective Sergeant Steve Morris said, both Prince Charles and Prince Harry should be questioned without a doubt. It is all part of the investigation, how the donor got to where he is within the charity, that is vital evidence to show the picture of how he has allegedly infiltrated the charity. They should both be spoken to at the very least as witnesses. It would involve officers going to their address, or them being invited to a police station to give what's called a Section 9 statement, purely as a witness at this moment in time. Mr. Mahfouz donated £50,000 to Prince Harry's Senebale charity in 2013. According to the Sunday Times, Harry met with the Saudi billionaire in a pub in Chelsea, where they reportedly discussed the charity. Last year, the Duke of Sussex said he had severed ties with Mr. Mahfouz as a result of the allegations against his father. He also claimed he had expressed concerns about the donor. A spokesperson for the prince said, the Duke and his advisors, as well as his non-profit Santa Bale, severed ties with Mr. Mahfouz and his associates in 2015, no longer accepting further donations to Santa Bale and discontinuing any plans for a fundraising event amid growing concerns over his motives. The Duke had one planned meeting with this donor nearly eight years ago did not introduce him to any members of the royal family, and expressed concerns about the donor. The Prince of Wales is facing the prospect of being interviewed by police as a witness after Scotland Yard launched an investigation into an alleged cash for honours scandal. The Prince's foundation, Charles's charitable body, is at the heart of a criminal inquiry into allegations that a Saudi donor was offered help in securing a knighthood. The announcement marked further turmoil for the royal family, coming a day after Charles's brother, the Duke of York reached an out-of-court settlement with a woman who accused him of sexually assaulting her when she was 17, which he denies. Last year the Prince's Foundation ordered an independent investigation, which found that Charles's former closest aide, Michael Fawcett, coordinated with fixers in a bid to secure the honor. The charity said Fawcett supported and would assist the investigation. The anti-monarchy pressure group Republic contacted the Metropolitan Police in September and reported Charles and Fawcett in the wake of media coverage of the claims. The former Liberal Democrat MP Norman Baker also asked the force to probe the allegations against Fawcett. On Wednesday, the Met said it had received a letter in September relating to the press reports and after further inquiries launched an investigation into allegations of offenses under the Honours, Prevention of Abuses, Act 1925. There have been no arrests or interviews under caution, the force added. Clarence House reiterated its previous statement, saying, the Prince of Wales had no knowledge of the alleged offer of honours or British citizenship on the basis of donation to his charities. A spokesperson for the Prince's Foundation said, it would be inappropriate to comment on an ongoing investigation. Now the Met has launched an investigation, questions have been raised as to whether the heir to the throne may be interviewed by police. He is president of the Foundation but not involved with its governance, with the charity's trustees overseeing day-to-day -day activities. Graham Smith, the chief executive of Republic, said, I think we want to know that Prince Charles himself will be investigated along with Michael Fawcett. So we hope the investigation will be carried out without fear or favour and will as be thorough as it needs to be." A former Scotland Yard assistant commissioner, Robert Quick, said detectives would weigh up carefully whether they need to speak to Charles, almost certainly as a witness. Quick, who was head of specialist operations, including counter-terrorism and royalty protection, said, if it is obvious he is not involved in any way, then there is no need. If he may have pertinent information, then he may be spoken to. Peter Hunt, a former BBC royal correspondent, added, This has the potential to be very challenging for Prince Charles. For decades, Michael Fawcett was one of his most powerful confidants. If their investigation is to be credible, the Met Police will have to interview the future king in the same way they would any other citizen. But Mark Stevens, an international reputation lawyer from the law firm Howard Kennedy, said he thought it highly unlikely that the prince would face a police interview. He said, Charles has an entire staff who runs his office and he's only told about the intimate dealings when he needs to know about them, 
and he clearly wouldn't have needed to know about this. Fawcett, who resigned as chief executive of the Prince's Foundation in the wake of the scandal, was accused of promising to help secure a knighthood and British citizenship for Mahfouz Murray Mubarak bin Mahfouz, a Saudi billionaire charity donor and businessman. Last year, the Mail on Sunday published a 2017 letter in which Fawcett allegedly wrote that he was willing to make an application to change Mahfouz's honorary CBE to a knighthood and support his application for British citizenship. The letter, written on headed notepaper in Fawcett's capacity as chief executive of the Dumfries House Trust, said the applications would be made in response to the most recent and anticipated support of the Trust.